You can also work with photos inside of Adobe in copy. So in order to work with photos, you should go on to file and then go to place right here. And once you go there, you can select out an image of your choice just like this and press open. So once you do that, you can see that the image opens up and it covers the entire document right over here. So usually when uh, where the writer has to work with the images for some reason, they use this feature. Usually this feature is something that is left for the designers. But if uh, the writer has to be in control of the picture, then it, they can just work around with the picture like this. And you can resize the picture right here and resize the frame as well, just like that and crop out the part that you don't want. And then what you can, what the writers can do is just type the information in here and then the in copy users will be able to place the image and the text that is they can uh, import this out and then uh, place it in InDesign uh, works. Another thing that uh, in copy users can also do is edit the photos of InDesign uh, document if the designers allow them to. So let's see how that works out. So here you can see that I am in my InDesign document and let's say what I want to do is I want to uh, give the ability to the InCopy user to replace out these pictures right here. So I'm just going to select these pictures right here. So I'm going to control click this one, control and shift click this one right here. So let me just uh, hold shift, shift and shift and all three of those pictures are now selected. So what I can do now is I can go to edit and I can go to in copy and what I can do is I can export this out. So I can export the layers, the selection as you can see right here. So let me just click on export selection and what I can do is save this out right here. So this is document zero as you can see. So I'm just going to save this out right here and it says that you must save the document after exporting it. So I'm just going to press OK and they have been exported. So now let us go back into in copy and in in copy, I'm just going to open up that in design document. So I'm just going to go around over here and you can see the document right here and you can see the exported images is here. So if I were to go on to the document, you can see this out right here. So um, I was not able to export this for some reason. So I, maybe I forgot to select this one, but you can see that both of these images now are editable in in copy document right here. So I can go around, move this around so I can press yes, I can check this out and move this around and edit the picture, replace the picture as you can see. So if you want to give the writers control of the pictures and they can simply do this. So let's say, for example, I want to delete this picture out altogether. If I were to go to file place right here and if I were to select an image and keep it here, you can see that the uh, in copy users will be able to replace. They won't be able to change the entire layout, but the designers can set the layout and the writers, they can just add in the picture according to how they wish, just like that. So that is how you can work with photos inside of in copy. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.